exciting episode of Game Night. I'm your host, Jeffrey Visser, and once again I'm playing Neo Noir third person shooter, LA Noir. In the last episode we were playing Bad as Jack Johnson, an investigator for California Fire and Life, standing in an alleyway with Elsa Lickman and Cole Felt. Now we are headed towards the second Elysian Field site. Is this where I found um Resonance Varley maybe? Or one of them? One of those three. I don't know. Locked. And suddenly you have a light. Nice wiring job, fellas. Keep them in the dark. <laughs> what that? Good thing I'm not thirsty. <laughs> There's not even a hole to put it in. That's how good it is. Gives me, gives me a nice. Lose something zoom. back. I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Put a few gaps in that smile. No way. Time for you to lose some teeth. I'm about to break your goddamn jaw. Don't worry, buddy. I'll lay you out. Quick. Ouch. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Into the trunk? What's gonna happen? Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys Who introduced are themselves. <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. We'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. Oh, man. We'll deal with that German bitch next. Sorry, pal. Desperate times. Monroe owns the city. Owns the cops. I need to find Elsa.
control your car. I've got a job to do. Out of my way! Please, damn it! I'm in a rush! How are they catching up that fast? Hey! California drivers? I ain't got time for this! Can't you see what's happening? Out of my way! Please, damn it! Where are they? Is that the last of them? I think it is. Or was. <laughs> On his last ability to walk. Still carrying that Army 45, Cole. For God's sake, Cole! Call an ambulance! The third degree. Achievement unlocked. Case closed. House of Sticks. Didn't find three clues? Oh my god. That's another case closed, but there's still some time left, which means we can start on the next case, right after this quick commercial break. Welcome back, now let's continue on the next case, a polite invitation. I'm assuming we're in a hospital because Carl actually did call an ambulance. Hello, Miss Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. <sighs> no, it's not okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Call needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize you for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? 
He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. I don't that's think perfectly that's understandable, joining Mr. dots. Jack. I think this I hope we can meet again under less dramatic Big amount of wounds on your forehead. I hope so too, or princess. Just all over I your like head. That. I think. Probably. Hey, don't you? Are you Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson. Assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? <laughs> a colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink. Then they buy you dinner. Then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get 150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? Do you think I fell down the stairs? <laughs> hey, Curtis Benson, if it is. Thanks right. for the patch up, Princess. It might be the only R and R I get for some time. Curtis Benson's apartment. 9.45 a.m. Minus one. Or is it minus 60 because we're talking seconds officially? I don't know. Am I supposed to go? Three is locked, two is not. Yeah. Remember me? Jack! It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. Try to get me killed, and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up, or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Oh, yeah. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? I will find it if I need it. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. To get all of the stockholders, I need to follow the paper trail. I knew you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Now I know why. <laughs> yeah. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. No. I'm going to talk. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. What is Fine. it with you people? 
How can you live any better? You already have houses, cars, yachts. Greed and avarice are very powerful forces for change, Jack. Combine that with the city's desire for progress, and it's a very heady cocktail. You need to be a very special man to be able to resist that. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? I thought not. Now help me up, Jack, and I'll give you a ten minutes start before I go for the phone. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? Give me what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. California, fire and life. So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is $3,500. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a P.I. might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempted at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with the Lesion Fields developments? They're in it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that metal on Sugarloaf. The metal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you could turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. 
Fine. The Hall of Records is the place to start. The Hall of Records is indeed the place to start. But not only for our investigation, it will also be the start of our next episode, airing next Saturday. But until then, my name is Trevor Visser and I thank you for watching this episode of Game Night. I'll see you on Saturday.